Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit? Didn't you say you wanted to go swimming? Maybe you didn't. Am I being stupid right now? Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Am I... Did I get stuck in time or something? No, I know. Days going by like crazy fast, right? I feel like we were practically just accosted by those soccer... No, I mean, in this time period. Ah, oh, jeez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? That's like the worst time. Where's... where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? I just... never mind, I guess. Okay, Clarissa, take a note. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas, so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Uh, yeah, um, it really is kind of ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm like right about to start sweating, but I'm not. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've, um... I... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> Can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. So... Uh, <laughs> if I were to ask you if you were, um, past Clarissa, that wouldn't make any sense to you, right? Past Clarissa? Like, like am I past the name Clarissa? Or... I guess I don't understand. Uh, forget it. It's all right. <laughs> Okay. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I uh, totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh... He loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. Had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kinda sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. Yeah, well, it changes month to month. No, it was perfectly fine. Perfectly amicable. Amiable. It means the same thing. All right. Sorry. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm going to run into town and get, like, a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Uh, yeah. Get me a drink, too? Sure. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I, I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on. I've missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night. Yeah, sure. And look. I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... Yeah, no problem. Just 
Don't get all smoochy smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, bucko. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex, are you all right? Okay, uh, are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do do, do you know that? Uh, I mean, I let it go for the first two, but Jonas, I just saw. I think I just saw my brother. Wait, what? Where? Here? Is he? D did you see him somewhere here? I, I was. It was like those time loops we've been experiencing, right? This was. It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Just now? Turn on the Lima India Gulf Hotel Tango for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the... well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah, uh, good. Yeah, Clarissa's... gone, though. Clarissa still hasn't turned up? No, she did, but I guess she got, like... this is gonna sound insane, but whatever... possessed and got time-looped away. Oh. So there's that. What? Where is she? Yeah, should we maybe look for her, possibly? Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? So are you going to try the gate thing, or...? I guess the radio will open this, somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. Turn on the Lima, India. For the ships coming.
please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a Just boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. There is something up with her. She has this giant house. She's burying like secret messages all over the place. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, and we can leave it to Scrappy Doo or whoever to figure it out. What's a Scrappy Doo? Yeah, but we could figure it out. Aren't you the least but curious? There's not going to be a sunken pirate ship at the end of this, Alex. It's just a wrecked submarine. Yeah, and if you're really so anxious, you can come back on your own time. I just want to get home. Oh. Oh, it's like a... It's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we can't find it? Um, plan B was four hours ago. Keys, they... They have to be in the house. For the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. I don't believe you. These windows don't even... They don't work like that. How would you know you've never been here? Look, Clarissa's here. So everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just... Find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise, we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. I don't care what she says, just everyone keep your eye on her. Yeah, I just might climb through the kitchen window again, who knows? Okay, we get it. Haha, -ha, carry on. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics. And religion, sheesh, Okay, there's a lot of... we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. How are you doing? How are you doing? I think about as bad as everybody else right now. I feel like I've been run over with a truck. With... Acid wheels, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty much been the slogan of the night. We'll make shirts when we get home. We'll be okay. Oh, it's a it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. Maybe she was up to something, you ever think of that? I mean, she's wrapped up in this thing somehow. Maybe, but... Also, things don't have to make sense. Sometimes stuff just happens, and that's the end of it. Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then, what do I know? Maybe they needed to chart uh, signals through space or something? Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure.
The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Well, she buried information in sonically camouflaged containers, Jonas. My guess is paranoid. Remember that guy? Where are your parents? Your kids better go. Oh, um, Chad's lake house. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. Find anything useful? Not yet. But you know, the night is young. How's the, um, Nona stuff going? What do you care? Like, seriously, why didn't you let me go with you to Main Street? Did I do something that bad? Okay, I'm sorry. I just thought you needed a breather. I mean, seriously, an hour earlier, you were, like, possessed and freaking out. Okay, that is true, I guess, but still, it was annoying. She made a lot of... What should I call these slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the... There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. 29, 18, 54. Uh, cool? Are you, um, doing okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah? We're going home soon, so... Yeah, that's true. Hey, Nona. Hey. Okay, so this is probably a terrible time to bring this up. Actually, I know it is, but Ren really does mean well, so just take it easy on him. No, uh, please, let's talk about something normal. But, uh, yeah, I will, no problem. Clarissa? Your Highness? Look, I think, like, don't take this the bad way, but you need help. Oh, do I? What kind of help, may I ask? Like therapy help. Alex? No, it's okay. I tried it, honey. Didn't take. I'm indissectable. a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Uh, she must have figured it out, that there were ghosts here and the potential for them to be running amok. I guess that's a possibility. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Let's blow this pop stand. Oh, I just got that popsicle stand. It does make sense. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? I got the keys. They were in the attic upstairs. In a chest, but who cares? Let's just go. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? 
Things are different, except in a different way. <laughs> Just come downstairs so we can get started. Nona, come on, honey. It's time to motor. Ren, come on. We got a boat to catch, buddy. Jonas, don't... don't just sit there. We're in a time-shift loop thing. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Stop. Just... stop whatever this is, can't you? Just... just fix my friends. Please. Your friends are as fine as they've ever been, okay? There's nothing to bleed over. You signed up for this, Alexandra. In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. How was I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen? And yet, without understanding your footing, you still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good-humored as your mother's apple pie. I don't want to play this! Just tell me what's happening! Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's your choice. Now, let's start with a softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, is it... are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models emitted X-rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation. In other sense. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're... I not... spy. With my little eye, a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Uh, is it the... the this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round out, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy, with my little eye, a picture of a memory. Be fast now. The, the picture of, of, I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Anna. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing, well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. And in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time, and a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Okay, if we- if I help you, will you stop whatever it is that you're doing with my friends? Ah, uh, well... There's the rub. The not the eternal, eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. Wait, what? What happens to them after you're... absorbed? Their form will exist with us inside. It will be a swap, you see, of... essences, I guess you could call them. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. And it will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. Please, just don't do this. We're... We're it's not... sad, I know, to lose the facility to feel, to be, but we have not felt anything for a very long time, and we'll do whatever is necessary. Our vessel crashed on the rocks. We have until dawn, and so will you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. <sighs> so... I'm kind of screwed. Tell Michael he should go to school here. Okay, seriously, who are you?
so we can go on. <laughs> I always think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. No, that was very, very real. We're in, like, trouble. Yeah. God, that all... Yeah, we kind of really are. So, I mean, Christ. If Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster. Marissa is only like one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah. But how do we do that? Well, uh, good question. Maggie, ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the island Mother Goose. She... She knew something. I mean, look around. This whole house is like a ghost hunting command center. And she thought she needed to tune a radio into the... the source of the problem in the cave. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right. I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields, anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's, uh... It's a Piffany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. Careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure this is just the, uh... It's sweet. They're learning. Boo! Okay, all right, we get it. Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. All right, hit the button. Let's keep it moving, Alex. Um, we're kind of on a roll with useful information, so... Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant! Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Can we just... I mean... Can we just, like, think this plan through for, like, one minute before running off half-cocked? <laughs> Everyone heard that, right? <sighs> yes. Don't we need, like, access codes or something like that? Actually, I doubt it. It'll probably be tied to, like, the military radios and, well, we stole them, so... Well, the system works.
All right? Break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me. I won't want to know. Same here. I don't want to know nothing. 